polynomial approximation to function to function y equals f of x and x equals to a. We start with an example where we work in the function f of x equals to natural log of x plus 1 and we do approximation at a equals to 0. We start with linear approximation. So for linear approximation what we want is so we're going to call it p1x. We're looking for c0 plus c1x or mx plus b and we want fall in so we want to have p1 at 0 equals to f of 0 and we want derivative of our polynomial coincide with derivative of function so we want polynomial pass through a point and we want to, to have polynomial to have a straight line line to have the same slope as our function at the given point so if we do the calculations then um, because our function is natural log uh, derivative of natural log is 1 over x plus 1 we can calculate f of 0 to be natural log of 1 which is 0 and f prime of 0 to be 1 over 0 plus 1 is 1 therefore we conclude that in our case p1 of 0 equals to 0 and derivative at 0 equals to 1 so y-intercept is 0 slope is 1 so we get p1 equals c0 which is 0 plus 1x so we get p1 of x equals to just x And now we want to see how good our approximation. And say, if we choose point nearby, say we choose x close enough to our choice of a equals to 0, and say point 1, and we calculate f of point 1, which will be natural log of 1 plus point 1, and that equals to 0 0.0953 our linear approximation p1 of point 1 is going to be equal to 0 0.1000 so it's pretty accurate so far we found straight line approximation to our function f of x ln of x plus 1 at a equals to 0. Now we want to do better approximation and instead of approximating by straight line we'll try to approximate by a parabolic or quadratic function. So we'll try to approximate by p2 of x which is c0 plus c1x plus c2x squared. So we're going to set the following requirements. So what do we want? Uh, one it to pass through the point when x equals to zero. Then we want to, to have the same slope at the given point, and then we want it to bend exactly the same way as the function. So we want to have second derivative to be the same and first derivative to be the same at a value of function to be the same at a equals to zero that's what we want so let's uh, see what's going to be happening um, so our function is natural log of x plus one derivative of a function is one over x plus one second derivative of function is negative 1 over x plus 1 squared now we evaluate the function 
n is derivative and the second derivative at a equals to zero. So we're going to get f of zero equals to ln of one, which is zero. f prime of zero is going to be equal to one. Second derivative at zero is going to be equal to negative one. f of 0 is supposed to be equal to p of 0 and substituting 0 to that equation we're going to get c is null p prime of 0 let's find what is derivative of p2 it's p2 it's c1 plus 2 c 2x so substituting 0 we're going to get c1 C2 is going to be equal to, to find C2, we say you have to find the second derivative, so we're going to get 2C2, so we're going to get 2C2. So from here we can obtain that C0 equals to 0, C1 equals to 1, and C2 equals to negative 1 half. And therefore we obtained our quadratic approximation to our function to be 0 plus 1x minus 1 half x squared or p2 of x is x minus 1 half x squared. Now when after we calculated quadratic approximation to our function ln of x plus 1 at a equals to 0, we want to see how good our approximation is. So we choose x equals to 0 0.1, which is reasonably close to a equals to 0. We calculate value of our approximation at 0.1, so we're going to get 0 0.1 minus 1 half 0.1 squared, and we're going to get 0 0.0950. Then we calculate actual value of function at 0 0.1. So we're going to get ln of 1.1. So we're going to get 0 0.0953. And you see how good our approximation is. We're only off by, we are correct up to three decimal places. We're only off by 0 0.0003. And if you recall, our P1 approximation using linear polynomial that was equal to 0 0.1000. So you see our approximation is much with second degree polynomial much closer than with straight line approximation. And for reasoning for that, we might also see from a picture if we look at the graph of function, it bends a little bit so it looks maybe something like this so that's the graph of y equals f of x then if we try to draw a straight line approximation it's going to look something like this that's p1 of x and if we do quadratic approximation, what it does, it also curves the same way as our function. So that's why this P2 of x is much more accurate than straight line approximation.